Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you a very useful function in Excel that helps you find what day of the week a certain date is. So if you have uh, old data or large data sets and you're just trying to figure out maybe what day of the week an event occurred, there's a very, very simple way to do that. And then once you have those numbers, you can go ahead and filter that data in pivot tables and, and better analyze your data. And so we'll kind of walk through how you'd go about doing that. Very easy to do. We'll just go ahead and put it here in E3. We're going to do equals weekday and then you can hit tab and then it's going to ask the serial number so what what is the date that you're trying to find that weekday so i'm just going to do is it we have a table here normally you could do that or you could do c3 and it will be able to provide that information so we'll just do that day whatever date you want broken out find the day of the week and then we're going to hit comma then it's going to ask you for the return type and the return type basically is just asking how you want the week to be broken out so if you don't do anything it's just going to default so that sunday would be day one and saturday would be day seven but you can as you see here there's a couple different options so you can do two which would be monday is your first day of the week or three would be zero would be monday anyways there's a couple different ways you can go about looking at it but but typically and i in most cases that, that I've used and other reviews that I've seen, you're just gonna, you can do the number one or you, if you leave it blank, that will work as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter there. And then it, it auto fills. If, if it's not a table, you might have to do that manually, but the formula will go through and you can see where all of these dates, what the day of the week is. So again, one being Sunday. So this first date here, that would be a Tuesday. Again, Monday being would be two, Tuesday three, Wednesday four, and so on and so forth. And so now we now we have all of these days of the week. We know what days these certain sales took place, which is very helpful. So let's say though that we want to see on what day of the week we each of our items sell the best. So what we can do here is just do control A. And then we're going to insert a pivot table. So I use Alt NV. I'm just going to select from table ranges using this, this data that I've used here. And then we'll just go ahead and do existing worksheet. And we'll just drop it here, I3. Uh, and then we'll be able to filter it. So we're going to put our, our items here. We just want to know on what day of the week these items sell the most. So we, we have our, our items or the name. Our number is the value, so the number of sales that actually took place. And then what we'd want to do is we'll drag our weekday to the columns. And so now we have our Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And so now we can look and see, okay, we definitely sell the most on Tuesday. So we have that day of the week sales data and broken out. So very useful. I've, I've used this a couple times for different analysis on, on things that take place, you know, what day of the week. And so very helpful there. You can group by week as well in Pivot Table, which I have another video for. But again, a very super easy and helpful function here in Excel. Please let me know if you have any questions around this, if there's anywhere you'd like me to elaborate. And please subscribe to the Excel guy. Thanks and have a great day.